Okay, in this episode, we are going to pick our weapons. The starship is currently armed with a rocket launcher and a sentinel cannon. Damage is 273 for the Sentinel Cannon. I think we're gonna go with a Positron Ejector and a, the Infra Knight for the spaceship. Okay, we're gonna go with a Positron Ejector. And the Infra Knife Accelerator. So we're gonna do the Positron Ejector Upgrade. And the Infra Knife Accelerator Upgrade. go with the bolt caster and the scatter blaster for now and maybe plasma grenades later and if you have another opinion about the weapons let me know so we already have the bolt caster um, we would need a barrel ionizer for that And the bulk caster ricochet module. And the scatter blaster is the classic weapon. I will link below the video description the discussions on the weapons and why I picked the scatter blaster and the plasma grenades. Although, I'm not going to do the plasma right now. Bolt caster and scatter blaster which means I want the shell grease. Magnetic resonator. Hydraulic wiring. And the quantum computer. Grab my Utopia Speeder for 1400 nanites. And the Utopia Speeder.
And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take these. Damage 273. Damage 283. Go scrap the Utopia Speeder. Claim scrap. the storage augmentation. Upgrade. Apply augmentation. Let's do it up here. that uh, up here too. So now we can move this. Okay, it went down. All right, now maneuverability is over a thousand. That will work. Oh, because this gives the 38%. Okay, and now we sell spool and nano cables, 301,000. Starship AI valves, it's like 23 million. Pressed Indian indium scraps, nine million. Subatomic regulators, one million. Recycled circuitry, half a million. Now we got S-class upgrades for a photon cannon, the infra knife, and the shield. Shield goes up, goes down. Let's see, 30%, 30, 30, 28. So we'll dismantle this. Damage potential 302. Now it's 305. Let's see if the photon cannon does anything. It does. I just want to see if this gets recognized by the photon cannon. Yes. So the Sentinel cannon is treated like a photon and um, 
like a photon cannon. Let's see, 309, 305. Scatter blaster requires three more pug units. Pugnium. Okay, the multi tool. Scatter blaster. Wiring loom. Pugnium. Damage 3541. Let's see, if I store that, damage 2367. Okay, our cobalt mine gave us plenty of cobalt. Eighty cobalt will give forty ionized cobalt, and we got already some magnetized ferrite. We can make a magnetic resonator. And install the shell greaser. Let's see, 3910. So it raises our damage by 400. That's pretty good. Okay, that's the scatter blaster. Okay, I'm gonna take an A-class bow caster module. Scatter blaster. Product received. Okay, the damage is thirty nine ten. With the module forty three seventy one. I need multi-tool expansion slots, so I'm going to take this mission. Scatter blaster module. Okay, damage 4371. Damage fifty two ninety seven. Okay, 
Okay, there's an A-class scatter blaster, which I'll take. And in order to install that, I'll need to get rid of one. This C-class, I'll dismantle that. Move these over. Okay, damage is 5297. 6045. Okay, since there's a Kill 4 Sentinel with the multi-tool expansion slot, I'm going to take the Kill 7 and Kill 8 Sentinels also. Kill eight sentinels, we'll take that, since we're already doing it. See Atlas interface discovered. In the next episode, we will explore the atlas interface and we will do the new missions at holographic romance and the ones for getting the sentinels so the four sentinel missions and holographic romance in the next episode um, we installed starship weapons, the Infra Knife Accelerator, and uh, got our maneuverability over a thousand using the speeder upgrades. And in the multi-tool, the reason we took those missions, we need the expansion slots. We got our damage potential up to 6,045 using the scatter blaster and its upgrades. All right, thank you for watching. See you in the next episode.